This is an 8 inch chainsaw. And what we're going to do is give you a nice close up look what you get inside. I only got a small branch so I can show you how this thing works and we're going to demonstrate on it. Comes in a nice case, yellow and black. Let's open it up. We have a guide, instruction manual, the chainsaw, the power source, 21 volt battery, not just one, two, a power cord that you're going to find the outlet and find where the DIN plug plugs into, safety goggles, a brush, a screwdriver, a right angle Allen key, and more. On the back of the case is a handle. A small hardware kit is given and some assembly will be required with a Phillips screwdriver putting on the handle and a guard. Carefully look over the parts, these two areas, these two holes, they're going to line up carefully, slide in and over and place on your screws. With the handle, it slides over this particular area. Slides over this particular area. And place on your screws. When it's all installed and you want to put it away in the case, you need to take off the handle and the guard to place back in. The charging port power source has two DIN plugs, 3 point amp hour batteries at 21 volts. To test the unit out, please be very careful. You're going to line it up, lock it into place, and over here is the trigger to release to run the unit. When not running the unit, remove the battery, like so. We get a number of things in the hardware kit. We get a brush, so we can clean off our saw. We get a file, so we can file our blade. We get a right angle tool that you could take off the socket, the nut. We get a multi screwdriver, two in one, Phillips and flathead. Let's go over the chainsaw. The rotation goes this way. The nut takes off the guide. There is a tab over here, so the guide's going to go this way, forward. There is a container that you could fill up with oil for the chainsaw. Snap on and close. When you pump it, it's going to add oil to the chain and clean it. This is a tensioner. It'll lock this way, expanding the chain. This way will loosen it. Do not take off the Phillips screw, only take off the nut. I'm going to demonstrate and show you how to change the chainsaw. You're going to take the right angle socket and loosen the nut on the bolt. Lefty loosen. There is a washer behind the nut, placed to the side, both parts. There is a tab over here where my thumb is at. You're going to grab the piece, pull forward. There is the tab. This is your tensioner. There is the knob, the stud, that goes in here, pushes the blade forward. All you need to do now is just take the chain off, take the guide off. This could go on any way you want. You take the chain out, put a new chainsaw on, slide this on. These two tabs you're going to align. This tab goes over here. 
by simply putting back this tab here. Take your time, line it up. You won't be seeing that little rubber thing inside matching up. You can adjust this the best you can. You can feel for the lock. Once you feel it kind of locks into place like so, you place on your washer and your nut. And then you start to tighten this up. Don't make it super tight, tight enough. You notice some slack, you take this knob and you start to increase it by going clockwise. You notice it starts to tighten up. You don't want it super tight. You want it to have just a little bit of play and you'll know when it's there. When the battery is fully charged, you can go out and do your cutting once again. While we're on charge, we can always check our battery. As you can see, it's getting some charge. We're gonna make our first cut. Remember, this does not have a safety guard at all, but a safety guard here that protects your hands. This is the safety trigger. This is a ring. When the battery dies, that is what happens. It this does not give you any warning. So you have a replaceable battery. You can simply slide out and go get another one. When all done, simply just take apart and put away. And always make sure you clean the chainsaw out. The eight inch chainsaw does a great job cutting. It's very smooth as butter and works quite well. When you're all done, please take apart the guard, the handle to put back into the case. If you had something to cover the blade up, that'd be even better that you could just simply store in your workbench. I hope this chainsaw is something that you're looking for to cut down a tree, a limb for your gardening needs. It's an excellent chainsaw, it's got a nice color to it. And I hope you enjoy your gardening tool and more. I hope this product may be right for you.